The picture you see in front of you is uh, Dr. Kelly Ward. Uh, she's running for United States Senate in the state of Arizona. And for those of you who don't know it, she's running against John McCain. When I listen to this lady, uh, she, oh, and let me uh, give a caveat. She is a Donald Trump supporter, but she reminds me of a, a Tea Party uh, person. Um, I want you to pay attention to uh, the buzzwords that she and a lot of Republicans like to use uh, in defense of their positions. Uh, jihadist and radical uh, Islamic uh, terrorists, you know, words of that nature which obviously evoke emotional responses from people. And they use those emotional responses, obviously, to bring people over to their side. But this lady appears to me to uh, be somebody that uh, is pretty much in the same vein as uh, John McCain, uh, just in a female form. So let me play this particular clip and let you listen to her words. Former Arizona State Senator and a Republican candidate for U.S. Senate running against Senator John McCain. Uh, and thank you very much for being here, Ms. Ward. I'll start by asking you, what do you make of the George W. Bush rescue effort um, for John McCain and other senators? Well, good morning, Joy. It's great to be here with you. I want to say happy Father's Day to my dad out in Florida. And, you know, there are a lot of things going on. The establishment is trying to uh, maintain the control that they have over Washington, D.C., over the empire that they've created. And they're calling in the big guns, the big establishment guns, to try to, uh, to maintain that status quo in Washington. And I think that the people across the country are fed up with that. And that's why we're seeing what we're seeing on the campaign trail. Well, Dr. Ward, you know, we played a little bit of John McCain's uh, implication that the President of the United States was somehow responsible for the rise of ISIS, but you've had actually some very strong remarks about John McCain himself. I'm going to read you a little bit of a statement that's on your website. You said, Libya and Iraq would not be the Harvard of terrorism they are now if it were not for his, meaning McCain's, knee-jerk, trigger-happy foreign policy of promiscuously arming the supposedly moderate militants. He says he is quote, intimate with and overthrowing stable, albeit on savory regimes. One more. The reason John is currently losing a reliably red state to a rubber stamp Obama Democrat is because he's dangerously distracted with his invade the world, invite the world agenda. That is pretty strong stuff. Do you really believe that John McCain uh, and his policy ideas are responsible for the rise of ISIS? Uh, I definitely do. You know, I'm not going to walk it back like he did with the president. Um, you know, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John McCain, they are the people that have put us in this position where we are. The 2003 war should have taught us. That was a constitutionally declared war, and we took out a dictator that was a tyrant. But we left a vacuum there that was filled by a radical element. And then we did it again in Egypt. And we did it again in Libya. And we did it again in Syria. And then the vacuum was huge. And these radical Islamic terrorists filled in that vacuum. And All right, let me stop it there real quick. It, it's amazing to me uh, the strategies that some of these candidates use. I don't really think that anybody is going to claim that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, who is hawkish, and John McCain, who is definitely hawkish, have the same ideology. But the Rep Republicans' game plan is, number one, to demonize Barack Obama and obviously Hillary Clinton, and then uh, to try to tie anybody that they're running against to uh, those two. There is no way that you tie John McCain to Barack Obama. John McCain hates Barack Obama. Now, point number two. If, if you have the time, I want you to count how many times this lady says radical Islamist terrorists and uh, jihad. Again, buzzwords that uh, Republicans like to use uh, because they, quote-unquote, are uh, the party known to be strong on uh, national defense. 
Unfortunately for us here in the United States, John McCain's policy of supporting amnesty and open borders have allowed those emboldened elements to come across our border and bring jihad to the United States. Okay, I, I, I'm still looking around for a jihad to the United States because you, you got a, a couple of instances where some guys uh, did some damage. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, give the Republicans uh, San Bernardino, and I'm going to give them uh, Fort Hood. I'm not giving them Orlando. That guy had issues, and if there was no such thing as uh, radical Islamic jihadists, etc., that guy still would have done what he did. So I'm not giving them that one. I'm going to give them the first two. And I still honestly uh, am not going to say that ISIS has brought radical Islamic jihad to America. Yeah, there have been those two instances, documented instances, but you know, it, it's not as big a deal as they're trying to make it out. And to be honest with you, I really believe the, uh, our own internal security should have caught at least one of those, uh, the Fort Hood situation. Um, the San Bernardino situation, again, that's going to be a lot harder. But you have other uh, mass shootings that you could actually call uh, terrorism. You had that situation in South Carolina where uh, Roof uh, went into a church and uh, killed all those people. That's terrorism, too. So, you know, you pick your poison. You know, if you're trying to focus in on uh, Islam, um, in order to uh, try to rally people, you know, that's that's a tactic. But for black people, Mr. Roof going in and uh, killing uh, people because he wanted to start a race war, you know, that's a tactic as well. Let's go through a couple of, uh, you know, policy ideas. If you were to become the United States Senator from Arizona, it sounds to me like you would not vote for comprehensive immigration reform, would you? Uh, well, I think comprehensive immigration reform is code word for amnesty. So, no, I am directly, definitely opposed to amnesty. I think that we do need some kind of a physical border. I'm ready to mix the border to fix the border. And, uh, and we need to also have uh, utiliza utilization of technology to the fullest extent. We need to empower the people at the border, the Border Patrol agents, to keep people from coming into this country. It sounds All right. Now, Joy should have asked a follow-up question. If you're not for um, uh, pr immigration reform, exactly what would you do with the 11 million people that are here illegally? That was the basic follow-up question that should have been asked, but uh, she missed the boat on this one. We also need to make mm -hmm. no, go on. Well, we need to make sure that we turn off the goodies, like Dr. Carson used to say. Yeah, Dr. Carson, yeah, a real expert. Like I believe anything that comes out of his mouth. Um, you know, we need to have a strong e-verify system. We need to make sure that people aren't coming here for free health care, free education, free housing, free money on the backs of the taxpayer. Our now that I agree with. Okay, so it's you could say that I'm a quote unquote progressive liberal, whatever, but. There are conservative uh, points of view that I absolutely go along with. What she just mentioned are uh, a bunch of them. Are you in favor of Donald Trump's idea of building a wall across the southern U.S. border? You know, I think we need some kind of a physical barrier there. Um, we don't lock the doors of our homes because we hate the people outside. We lock the doors of our homes because we love the people inside so much and we want to protect them and that's what we're doing by having a, a secure border we're protecting our sovereignty and we're protecting the american citizen that we love let's talk you lock the doors of your house to keep other people out from taking your stuff that's why you lock the doors in your house back in the day people used to never lock the doors when we had really low crime rates as the crime rates went up and people started going into people's houses and taking their stuff. People started locking their doors so they could keep their stuff. And yes, we do love the people inside the house, but more importantly, even if we're pissed off at the people inside our house, we damn sure don't want anybody from outside of our house coming inside of our house and taking our stuff. Peace.
quite a couple other policy ideas. Donald Trump has said he would like to ban all Muslim uh, people from coming into the United States. Do you agree with that? Uh, well, actually, I don't think that's what Mr. Trump said. Uh, he said that we need to significantly um, put a halt on visas from places across the country, across the across the world. I'm sorry, uh, that have been hotbeds of radical Islamic terrorism. No, Mr. Trump said that we need to ban B A N all Muslims from coming into the country until they can be properly vetted. He said all. He later on included banning immigration from all regions that uh, have a history of uh, terrorism. How would you until, like that? Until, until, but, but mm -hmm. Joy, wait, wait, until we have a proven process to vet those people coming into our country. Well, let me just we ask you this. One, one question, because we're, sure. we're short on time. Does that mean that, let's say, a delegation from Jordan were coming to the United States, you would ban that delegation because Jordan is in the Middle East and it's a predominantly Muslim country? I think that it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be addressed on an individual basis. And people who are already cleared that are delegations from Jordan are much different than radical Islamic jihadists. Well, who are that's not necessarily true because you could have delegations that are cleared uh, from Saudi Arabia and just because they don't do anything in Saudi Arabia, that doesn't mean that they're not Islamic jihadist terrorists, radical Islamic terrorists, whatever phrase you want to use. So, you know, what she's saying is not going to, is not holding water. And by the way, Jordan is probably one of the stablest countries uh, in the Middle East, and they really don't have a history of uh, terrorism uh, within uh, their country as far as their citizens are concerned. So again, you know, Joy should have posed the question not so much from a delegation point of view, she should have posed it from a citizen point of view to see what uh, this woman uh, was going to uh, respond with. Trying to sneak across our border illegally and come into our country to, to harm have, have, American citizens. Have you ever heard of an instance of a quote unquote radical jihadist sneaking across the southern United States border? Can you name us an instance of that? I have talked to our border patrol and they have said that people other than people from Mexico and from Central America are coming across our border with the intent to cause harm in this country. Um, you know, you're saying you have and, documented and, and, yeah. instances of that that you could share with us because we'd love to know documented individual uh, instances of that. Well, Joy, you're going to have to check with the Border Patrol on that, but I have spoken with them and they have assured me that people that are not from Mexico, not from Central America, but from countries that want to cause us harm are coming across that border. See, I... Okay, that is such bullshit. Number one, how come they didn't catch these people that they are aware of that snuck across the border? So... And, and number two, and most importantly, somebody told her, that's just like me saying somebody uh, from Mars landed it in Mexico and came across the border. Just because I told you that, that doesn't make it true. So, uh, you know, they, they speak these words without giving any thought to them. They have no uh, supportive evidence on what they're saying. It's just like, and again, she's a Trump supporter, and Trump is famous for throwing bullshit lines out there and hoping that uh, something sticks. He says, I've heard, you know, I don't know, but I've heard people uh, are saying this and that and the other, and that's what I've heard other people believe. I'm not saying that I believe it, but that's what I've heard. S same argument, lady is full of crap. Director Brennan said just this week that radical Islamic terrorists and jihadists have said they will infiltrate our poorest southern border and the refugee process to be able to get into this country and wreak havoc. That has got to stop. Last question. It sounds, it sounds like you'd be a Trump supporter. Are you a Donald Trump supporter? Absolutely. I am a Donald Trump supporter. He's the nominee for the Republican Party, and uh, we are going to win in November with Donald Trump at the top of the ticket and with Dr. Kelly Ward on the ballot for the U.S. Senate. All right. Yeah, I am a racist, Islamophobe, misogynist supporter, 
and I just want to let all of you guys uh, know that. So um, all of you uh, racist guys, white supremacists, etc., out there, please make sure you know who I am so that you can vote for me so that I can try to beat uh, John McCain and uh, represent you in the Senate. And I didn't use code word.